What's up guys and welcome back to Face Over Matter. It is your girl Jay here and in today's video I have this <sighs> I have this holiday look for you guys. I, I thought I had lipstick on my teeth. I have this makeup look for you guys. This is going to be me kind of opening up the holiday season. I know Thanksgiving if you do celebrate it I know that is around the corner so if you were looking for something if you just want to be beat while you eating good food there's nothing wrong with that i do it every year it's cool but i know the holidays is coming up and they are coming up very fast so i wanted to make sure i touch bases with some holiday looks and just bring you guys something to maybe rock or wear or just experiment with i know there are plenty of new palettes coming out so if you got your hands on them hopefully this is something that you could recreate using your new makeup or something like that me i'm using the same old same old stuff y'all know how i roll over here in my hood but today the star of the show on the eyes is actually this really old shadow that i used i actually have a i actually got some makeup geek shadow sent to me probably like a year ago and it was all of these colors including this one right here in my hand but um i i I think I've used this shadow before. I don't remember, but I remember saying the word secret garden in um, a makeup routine with my eyes. So I'm pretty sure I've used it before, but just don't know how or when. But if you are interested in this makeup look, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Please become part of the Face Ever Matter family. I would absolutely love it and appreciate it so much. And also turn on your bell notification so you will be notified every single time I upload. And I'm trying out a new thing that YouTube has, this whole preview thing. And it gives you a preview of what's to come. Comment down below, let's chat, let's have a good time and enjoy this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Honestly, Thanksgiving kind of whipped around mighty, 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 mighty fast. Um, I was talking to a friend the other day and I just noticed that Thanksgiving is next week. So, got my little polka dotted, my little polka dotted ensemble. Feeling like a little disco ball over here. But it's cute, I got it from Target actually. So, I know I'm rambling, but I just wanted to sit down and we just do a nice, really, really glam look. All right, so let's get into it. It's hot back here, so let's get a move on. So I've already prepped my face using my Oliver Generous SPF 15. So that's usually what I do to prep my skin. I'm gonna go ahead and add my good old Black Radiance True Complexion Shine Control Primer. This is super inexpensive and I love it so much. It's about five bucks. You can find it just about anywhere in every store, just about now, just depending on where you go. So to really get rid of those oils, I'm gonna take a little bit of setting powder. I'm gonna actually use one of my favorite powders right now. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder. I really, really like this stuff. And I'm gonna take a lightweight brush of some kind and I'm just going to tap it on top of my oily areas. So that's the top of the cheeks right here, top of the cheeks, and then of course we're going to dab all over the nose. The neck, we kinda wear what you wanna wear on your face today, especially if you wanna be a little bit darker on the skin or maybe a little bit lighter. Um, you can you can hide that because your neck is gonna be covered. So yeah. I really, I reviewed the Candid Foundation the other day and I had really, really, really enjoyed this foundation. So I'm actually going to be using this one today. It is the Candid Photo Ready Foundation from Revlon and I am using the shade 440 Caramel. Again, this I think is a little bit too, it's just like a touch too dark, but it is a very workable foundation. When I first used this, I really enjoyed it, so I just kinda wanna take another dab at it. My makeup was really flawless when I was finished. Like I was up in here taking pictures. I was up here doing the most, so. And I have my hair clipped off to the side while I do my makeup that way, cause my hair was in a bang, like over my face right here. So me clipping it to the side right here while I do my face allows that hair to kinda mold into a part. And I try to do my edges a little bit too. So, do you guys have any plans for the upcoming holidays? I know a ton of traveling is getting ready to be happening. I'm just honestly really excited to eat. I'm just really excited to just be around my family. This is kind of like the one time, just in my life, this is kind of like the one time me and all my family get together and we see each other and we catch up. <laughs> We haven't seen each other literally all year long, probably since the last Thanksgiving. Using the Photo Ready Candid Concealer from Revlon, and this is just gonna help brighten up the face. I'm gonna make sure I use the brush. I know in my review I forgot to use the brush. So this is the brush that is supposed to be coming out 2019. They are saying they're gonna be having a collection of brushes coming out in 2019, so be on the lookout for that. That's pretty exciting. It's like, I love a good multi-purpose brush, like. But I am gonna add another concealer on top of this one because this one does not give me enough 
coverage. I'm going to take my ColourPop concealer. This is the No Filter Concealer from ColourPop in the shade Medium Dark 32. And as you can see, this brush, you can buff in your concealer with this. This would, I've used this brush before for my contour. You can definitely do that. Keep that in mind if you do end up using a darker foundation, just focus on like some reverse contouring so you're not still adding on darker product on your face and making you look even darker, especially if you already didn't get your base color correct. So that's usually what I do. My foundation's too dark. I just reverse contour like underneath here. Cause you know like with contour, you usually put the darker stuff here, but it's like because the foundation's already dark and I'm making it lighter here, I'm gonna make it lighter right here too. So that way this part is the darkest part of like the face area. That way you'll kind of get like a natural snatch. You see that? So that way you can kind of clean up any mistakes that you may have had. All right, base is looking flawless. I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury powder again. And I'm gonna actually take my sponge, had a sponge just on deck, just in case I wanted to use it today. But I'm gonna use this and set my concealer. When I say this powder is definitely magic, it's definitely one of the most accurate powders I have used, um, just kind of following the description of it. It has the radiance in it like it says it does. Magic, this is like one of those powders that you could apply. Like you could bake, but majority of the powder will like dissolve on its own. So you don't even have to worry about like going back in to kind of brush it off, fan it away, blend it in, all of that stuff. It kind of just dissolves on its own. Getting snatched already for the holidays. Let's get snatched for the holidays. Going in with my favorite powder. I feel like I'm getting back in that mode again where I'm using the same stuff all the time. Y'all gonna start getting tired of me, I'm sorry. But this is my CoverGirl Vitalist powder in the shade 745. And I'm just going to kind of just buff over this area. This is gonna help kind of blend in where the concealer is. I'm not gonna buff away my powder underneath here just yet. I'm gonna let that sit just like a touch longer. I'm gonna do a little bit on the nose just to bronze up that nose. Just to be double sure that the powder is gone, we're gonna take some spray and just kind of settle everything. This isn't setting spray, but this is my rose water. I use this for everything, cause I love it. <laughs> then I'm gonna take my sponge and just tap over everything. All right, so while we are a little bit dewy, I'm gonna try to hurry up and get some blush rolling. I'm gonna use the Paradise Enchanted Scented Blush from L'Oreal. This one is in the shade Just Curious. And I love using this one because it has some golden reflex in it. And it gives me a little bit of color without ODing on color. And it does give me a radiance. Y'all see the color coming in? How cute, hey. All right, next I'm going to be highlighting, which is one of my favorite parts. So while we're still a little bit dewy, here is the perfect time to highlight. Of course, using the Master Chrome Highlighter by Face Studio in the shade 100 Molten Golden. And I'm just going to put those on the highest points. It's the holidays, so let's get lit. The highlight always looks so much better on this side. I don't know what it is. Okay, so let's get into brows. I'm gonna be using my Precisely My Brow from Benefit in the shade 4.5. And honestly, you guys, I have not been doing my brows that well lately. I feel like I'm losing my mojo. So a little finishing touch for the brows is I like to take a little bit of lash glue, just like a little of lash glue. And I like to put it on the very tips of my brows in the front. I'm just gonna get them to kind of stand up more. All right. All right, so I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. I love this palette. I think this is a really great palette for the holidays because you have more warms than anything, but you do get a little bit of touch of some shimmers here. I'm gonna actually use a new lens today. I got an 85 millimeter, so that's gonna have a zoomed all the way up to heaven. So I'm gonna switch that out real quick and I'll be right back just so y'all can get the up close eye look. All right, so I'm gonna try to stay in focus as much as I can. If it's making noise, I am terribly sorry. Let's get into this eye look. So the first shade I'm gonna be going into is, in the palette I'm gonna be going in with this shade right here. This shade is called Rustic. And just looking down, taking a Sigma E40, usually what I use for every eye look. I'm just going to blend this shade in until I have it buffed out. This is just one dip, and we're just gonna blend this out as much as we can. All 
And so while we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and take that same shade and we're gonna apply that to the lower lash line. All right, so while I'm here, I'm gonna take a little bit of this Maybelline um, gel liner and I'm gonna go ahead and apply some of this to the lower lash line just simply because I really want the lower, lower lash line to be really nice and smoky. So I wanna go ahead and get this step out of the way. So here I'm just laying down the color and then I'm gonna take a pencil brush or just something small enough to get up under the eye. So like this brush, for example, is from Anastasia. So I'm just gonna take a clean brush, go up under the eye, and we're just gonna blend it out as much as we can. And we're also gonna add a little bit of this gel liner into the waterline as well, because that's just really gonna make it even more dark. See how that just like changed everything. It's like now we have no choice but to go smoky. This is from BH Cosmetics, it's a little bit smaller just so I can get right up under the eye really nicely and blend out this color. And don't be afraid to smoke it out. All right, so just to make sure we get liner in our waterline and it's really dark, I'm gonna take the pencil and a little bit of the liner and just put it directly into my waterline. And I'm putting it pretty heavy in my waterline because as I blink, the color is gonna bleed up top as well, so that way I don't really have to tight line. Upper lash line, we're gonna take that same smaller brush and I'm gonna go into this color right here. This is called Cypress Under. Umber, sorry, Cypress Umber. I'm gonna add a little touch of this to the very outer corner just to give us some dimension. I believe we may go in with a little bit of black, but not just yet. Now I'm gonna go into the shade right here called Mulberry. I really wasn't gonna use this shade, but I love this shadow so much just as a swatch look how rich in like directly in the crease kind of like how we did our first shade i'm going to kind of just pop it up in there and then more so blended towards the front not really outward hope that's making sense so we go into the crease start blending but we blend forward that way more of this color is reaching the front rather than the outer part of the eye I love Anastasia shadows. They're not the butteriest shadows. I think, in my opinion, I'll say Morphe shadows are a little bit more buttery, but these Anastasia shadows blend so beautifully. Okay, so I really want to use this shadow from Makeup Geek. So what I'm gonna do is take a little bit more of the gel liner and I'm gonna do a black base on my lid. And I know this can be a little bit scary because you're thinking like, oh no, black is just gonna ruin it. Cause I was thinking about doing, you know, the whole cut crease thing and doing the concealer and it'd be lighter, but I'm thinking for the holidays, I kind of wanted to have a darker base so it can really make that color pop. So I'm gonna go with a black base. You can honestly leave it like this, like doing an eye look like this, y'all know I'm here for it. I really like those type of shadows as well. There's this beautiful shade from Makeup Geek. I'm gonna just rip it out of the palette. So it's this shade right here and it's called Secret Garden, but look at the shade. Honey, 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 it looks so good. Like, this is the color, look at that. So I'm gonna go and apply this to my lid. Look at that, the color just speaks for itself. It's so gorgeous, yeah, definitely. Let's use the finger. Honey, what, holiday ready? Come on, I cannot wait to put on lashes and everything. Let's go to the other eye. So sometimes your finger is like the best applicator, just depending on what you're doing. And I think for like shimmer shades, sometimes your finger is like the best applicator. Pig, I can't stop applying it, it's so pretty. Oh my God, how come I've never used this before? I mean, I think I have. All right, so going back in with the liner and my brush, I'm going to add some liner to the top lash line. I'm really trying to contemplate if I wanna bring this to the lower lash line. Let's put a little bit of the same lid color. I'm just gonna sweep a little bit underneath, just like a little touch, just so that it could graze the bottom. I don't want it to be like this color on the bottom, but I kinda of want it to graze it, you see? All right, inner corner highlight is one of my favorite things to do. One of my favorite inner corner highlights right now is from, is the one I used on my face. It's just, it's just so good, Maybelline. And just going to light that inner corner up. Now, I know a lot of people will probably end up leaving it without like a super bright inner corner, but me personally, I love an inner corner highlight. I just feel like it opens my eyes up more, especially with something dark like this. I kind of want my eyes to seem a lot more open. I'm gonna go ahead and do mascara and lashes. 
Again, using the Neutrogena Hydra Boost Mascara, one of my faves right now. I'm just gonna use my Ardell Wispies just simply because they're natural, they're simple, not doing too much. I really want the focus to be the eyes. All right, y'all, we getting somewhere, we getting somewhere. Of course, taking my night pencil from Minty Cosmetics. Y'all already knew this. Next, I'm gonna be taking the Fenty Beauty. This is the Unbutton Liquid Lipstick. You could definitely go with any color you want. Just something, all of this going on, I really need a nude, like I have to. If I don't, I'm gonna feel entirely way too uncomfortable. Right, I'm just gonna go through and blend this in. I would have used my Peach from Minty Cosmetics, but I wanted something a little bit more pale. I'm gonna go back in with my lip pencil just to perfect everything. All right, and then to top it off, I'm trying to pick, do I want Fenty Glow from Fenty or this one of my favorite lip lacquers from Maybelline? I'm gonna do a little bit of the Fenty Glow and see how I'm feeling. Man. This is the Maybelline Lip Lacquer in 64 Unreal. All right, let's wrap up this video. So let me go ahead and remove this off my neck. Again, I had this on my neck because I did not want, like I have a little bit of foundation on this. Just didn't want to get it on my dress, which it technically wouldn't even gotten on there, but I just want to make sure. So we are super bronzed. We are ready for any party, any dinner, gathering, whatever you're going to, we are ready. All right. So you see how that part, just doing that kind of molded my hair to do exactly what I wanted it to do. I want just like a little bit, it's like I want more shine on my lips or something. I'm gonna take a little bit of my highlighter. I've actually never really done this as like a finished statement of like my lips, but I'm gonna take a little bit of highlighter, apply some to the top of my lip, some there, and just kind of mix it in. Now you could definitely go with way more dramatic lashes. You could do all of that. I really didn't because I really love it like this. That way you can still see lashes, but you can still see the, the dimension in my eyes. You can still see the browns. You can still see the darkness in there. And of course the star of the show, this Makeup Geek color. I don't even know if these are still, I'm pretty sure these are still available. I really don't see too many people talking about Makeup Geek anymore, especially since Morphe and Anastasia, everybody else. But in my house, we still use some of the same products we didn't have for years, especially if they ain't gone bad. So um, get ready for the holidays. Whatever you are planning, whatever you are celebrating, do it, have a blast. I hope you guys have fun, be safe. I know I may be a little bit early talking about it, but I know Thanksgiving is coming up very soon. So I know some people have pre-Thanksgiving dinners, pre-Thanksgiving parties. Everybody got an excuse to have a party. So whatever you end up doing, have fun, be safe. Here is a makeup look that you may be able to rock, especially if you have this type of color scheme that you're going for with your outfit. Again, this, it's a dress, but of course I'm using it as a top so y'all could see, cause y'all can't see everything. If y'all only could see what I had on, underneath it. <laughs> but anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Um, as always guys, if you are new, I'm Jay. And if you're not new, I just thank you so much for supporting me with whatever I do here with my channel. I love each and every one of you to know in. And of course, until next time, God willing, I will definitely see you all in my next video. Mwah.